everybody, Ron Wenzel from TrueClot. We are here to do a demonstration on some of our TrueClot products here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate packing a wound here. So with our TASH trainer, we notice that it feels like flesh and we have the simulated blood that replicates real blood. So for our demonstration, we've identified a wound. It's arterial bleeding, it's, pot it's spurting out, it's dark. The first thing I could do is I can apply pressure on the wound here. Now I get some gauze here and this is simulated hemostatic gauze. So now without releasing pressure, I wanna go deep into the wound cavity. Now look at that wound cavity, pretty substantially, my fingers are gone. And without releasing pressure, I wanna slowly and methodically get some gauze in there, continuously pack. You notice I'm not pulling my fingers out. I'm trying to maintain a constant pressure in there because that simulated femoral artery in there, it's like a garden hose. And if I release pressure, we're gonna get bleeding again. So obviously one was not enough, so I'm gonna keep on going until I can't pack anymore. Does this hurt your patient? Absolutely. Another thing we get to do is folks that have never done this before, maybe somebody that's taken a basic stop the bleed class, we get to desensitize them. They see the blood, they play with the blood, they touch the blood. And when they're done, they get to understand that, yes, they can do this. So obviously I would fit, be able to fit a lot more, but for the demo here, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold pressure. Now, how long do I hold pressure for? If I'm a bystander with no equipment, I'm holding pressure until first responders get there. If I'm medically trained and I have equipment, I'm a fire EMS or law enforcement responder, I'm gonna hold pressure for three minutes with a hemostatic agent or 10 minutes with, if you have regular Curlex that's not treated. And then I'm gonna finish that off with a pressure wrap. So now let's show what we actually, what we demonstrate here. So we notice that the bandage is light colored. It's because we had the pressure on there, it wasn't actively bleeding. And realistically, we would be squeezing the bottle to check our work and then we get tactile feedback from the bottle. If blood was still pouring through by squeezing the bottle, we know that we're not, we're not focused on the bleeding. We need to identify where that's at. But now what we're doing, we're getting closer to the source of the bleed and you're starting to see some clotting going on here. And again, this is what we're replicating right here. And now we're getting to the good stuff. We're getting to the nice, that was, this piece went right to the point of wounding here. That is why it's so important. It doesn't matter what you're packing with. It's just so important that you get to the source of the bleed. And that is True Claw Products.